should Africans remain in Africa and make Africa, I mean, make Africa become great? So this is Eugene, the African kid, and I'm gonna show you a couple of videos where and Africans and uh, African Americans or Black Americans or foundationally Black Americans come to a discussion and try to find a solution to the problems that comes with diaspora war and notably most of the problems come with uh, most of African immigrants who go to the United States and perpetrate something I believe it's called the white supremacy and the fight keeps being against them so guys I want us to watch these videos and hear everyone's uh, point of view and later on let's come and discuss about this so do you, do you think that we need Africans themselves to stay in their country to not go to, you know, um, in the United States or Canada or any other place to stay and to work there. So this video will address those issues and then we'll come and talk about it. Let's watch the video. And kindly, if you're watching this video for the first time, kindly consider subscribing to our channel on my way to 1000 subscribers. I think this is the most important part of my YouTube growth. So. If you just subscribe to my channel, it's ain't a no-brainer. So let's continue watching the video. And how? Because each immigrant community, be it European, Asian, or African, come over here with very little. They struggle. They ignore the issues that are top priority for African Americans or Black Americans or foundational Black Americans. They ignore those issues. They do not um, complain. They suffer and toil with less than um, any beneficial amount of money in their bank accounts or pockets, and they somehow succeed and this serves as an example to possibly racist possibly white supremacist that the arguments that black americans or foundational black americans or african americans make is irrelevant because they look at these immigrant communities and they decide that if these immigrants can come from their third world countries their poverty stricken backgrounds their war torn areas and somehow climb through from the very bottom of of the totem pole and climb up to the top that um, whatever foundational black Americans or African Americans say is the problem with America must not exist and so on that note I would say Tariq I have agreed with so many things you have said this evening I will um, out myself honestly I was born here but I do not claim uh, um, to be American I always call myself an American Nigerian because I do believe I'm more Nigerian than American so I agree with you in that part um, I would like to say all Africans are not black I whatsoever I do not understand why they want to call themselves black I personally even though I am born here I will never call myself black I am African I am Nigerian and you are a hundred percent right we succeed here in this country we do the very best we make a lot of money but what we need to do is fix Africa go back home fix our countries so we can stop listening to these arguments and keep putting ourselves up here to be embarrassed here we have our countries we have you know, the back and forth listening to a lot of people you know come in here and try to have progressive conversations with Rick and you know I think I think to a certain extent some of the things you say I don't know if that might be your intention or not. They come across as very condescending when, you know, you make, I mean, to you, it could be lighthearted jokes about, you know, a janky phone or a flip phone or all that, all those things. But, you know, that's not what I'm here to speak on, but I just want to point that out. But, you know, you also um, trying to point out saying people, you know, immigrating from Africa or Nigeria or, you know, other parts of the world, why can't they stay in their countries and, you know, enjoy these benefits that you also said, you know, the white people or the foreigners here are enjoying? Right. Yeah. I will have you understand that, you know, it's not every single Nigerian that lives in abject, abject poverty. It's not. Didn't say that. Okay. Fine. Well, we are, well, you asking, you know, why the people here are not benefiting from these resources that you know you say the white people here are benefiting or enjoying i just want to point that out because that's what y'all said 
But y'all said that's what the, the caller said. She said they're coming over here because of imperialism and colonialism, and that's why they benefit from all of the things that many of the natives don't benefit from. So I pointed out that we deal with the same thing over here. The only thing is we stay and we deal with the white supremacists directly. So what makes you think we don't deal with the white supremacists on this side? Because y'all, because you got a bunch of people who are over here. They coming over here. And, we, so and there are also dealing. Americans that are coming over here. So it's a two-way conversation. Not in large numbers. And not in large numbers. Whatever no, numbers, no. there's still there's still migration on both parts. No, but the thing not. is, no, it's, the no, it's thing not. is, all, all I'm just here to no, say. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, don't say nothing emphatically false and then just try to babble on. No, we're, we're not going over there in large numbers, and, and nobody's disrespecting, but we're not going over there in large numbers. Number one, even if we wanted to, y'all don't let us go over there in large numbers like that. Y'all don't let us over there like that. Y'all not letting the whole of us come over like that. Let's be real. Welcome back to the channel. So this is Jin the African Kid, and I always want to make things clear as, we you know, we are distinctly raised up, you know, Africans and uh, black Americans or African Americans or foundationally black Americans. We are distinctively raised and we have our own beliefs as people. And we also have uh, a common system of belief as people from the black community. Uh, we share a couple of uh, some aspects of history together. So in that, with much respect, with uh, everything which is happening between us and the diaspora wars, which have always been there, I think the most, <coughs> sorry, the most important thing that we should do, Africans should just stay in Africa, just as sister have said. Why am I saying that Africans should stay in Africa? Staying in Africa, one, helps you develop your country just instead of going to other countries and later on you people start fighting against each other back there in the United States because I came to realize that most of diaspora wars comes from African who goes to you know who goes to the offices and they meet there and a couple of things starts happening and they you know they don't get to agree with, with each other because according to statistics which is true um, the brother was saying that majority of Africans are leaving this place to go to, you know, the United States to look for jobs and all other stuff, which is okay. Uh, the number is quite high as compared to Africans, uh, like the, uh, the brothers from the black community who come to, you know, Africa. But uh, recently there is opening up for the black people, like people from the black descent who identify themselves as black and want to reconnect to their roots. So this has increasingly um, increased the number of African-Americans or black Americans in the country, like in Africa. Uh, recently, our president, uh, Uru, not Uru Kinata, but William Samoy Ruto, um, opened up for our brothers and sisters from the black community who want to reconnect to their ancestry in Kenya. So with that being said, it means that majority of Africans still leave Africa to go to those places where I think it would have been important to we as Africans, if we stop complaining about the white supremacy thing and stay in our country and build in our country, and I think this is something which I've always been addressing. You see, when we Africans, we stay in our country, it will help us fight our problems as Africans, you see. And <clears throat> this is where the difference comes. When it is in the United States, the fight is not the same because these people are fighting people who have been you know they have been encountering problems with since uh, time immemorial about systemic racism and um what's the, the definition of white supremacy in the united states i think it's different from the um definition of white supremacy in africa if i'm wrong i stand to be corrected why do i say why why, why am i saying this i'm saying this because you see in africans in africa mostly we are fighting against us ourselves we as africans Okay, I understand even back in the United States, people from the black community fight against themselves by sometimes. But if you look at it deeply in the United States, this is being perpetrated by the enemy or the, the uh, you know, the, the person who is behind the system. And we all know, I mean, who they are if we don't call their names. So I believe that we need to stay in our country and build our country as people from the African community so that when 
we leave our country, we have something positive to say about our country rather than just running away and going somewhere else and you know when you are arguing with somebody it's easier for them to point out your mistakes because it's true you're having mistakes and this is a call for all africans or every any other person who's watching this video um i would advise you to always always and always ensure building where you come from so that in case of anything happens somebody don't tell you that you know you need to go back home and do this you need to go back home and get that right the point of argument will be something different rather than just because most of Africans, if we are going somewhere, maybe for example, the reason is it is because we leave our place and we go to the United States. And as we got there, now that's when we want to be serious, that's when we want to work extra hard, that's when we want to do what. And trust me, when something happens there, the point of argument will always be go back and build your country. And at some point, if you take this constructive criticism from other people or from our brothers, like from the video that we saw, um, it's important for us to keep that in mind because before arguing with a given group of people about who is better than the other, about we are getting, you know, we, we as Africans, when you go to the United States, we, we work harder than you do. Why don't we work harder in our country? I think that's one of the most things that we as Africans need to take that one step to prevent the diaspora wars. Diaspora wars, the number one thing that you can do by preventing the diaspora wars is to staying in our country as Africans, making our country great. And maybe when you leave your country, you leave your country when it's already made, like it's something which you can hold on. Like you can look back and say that, hmm, talking about Africa, did you see what we uh, what we did last year or something? So you see, I think that comes to make sense when we people as Africans, we take this initiative, not just staying in our country, uh, bragging about how hardworking we are. And if we take this constructive criticism from our brothers, um, it will help us grow. And this is the time to, you know, make Africa because as they say, a lot hasn't been unleashed about Africa, which we are here to find out. So guys, tell me what you think in the comment section about this issue, because I think it's something which has been recurring. And it's that time that Africans now need to say, okay, for us to stop this fight or anything which is happening between us, let's just stay in our countries. But I know there are exemptions. There are people who also goes to goes to the overseas for things like marriage, some will pursue education, further education, further studies, which is totally okay because um, human being is a you know mobile animal, so they will always keep going, going to different places. But again, I believe that the number one way of bridging this is by starting helping our own people, or the people from the black community. So this is Eugene, the African kid. Guys, if you watch this video until here, can you just hit the subscribe button? It really means a lot to me. Until then, peace, love, and harmony. Salute.